this was so new, uh, no one had seen it. There aren't many things that Doug Rohde hasn't seen in his career, a career that has spanned decades. He is supervisor of chemistry and toxicology at the Lake County Crime Lab. I ran the tests on paraphernalia that was found at the death scene, and I could not tell what I had. What Rohde had was a mystery. Lake County Sheriff's deputies responded to the death of a 29-year-old man and brought Rohde what they found with him in his home. I did know that most likely whatever was on the rolled up $10 bill was the agent that, that killed this young man. Rohde explained to me that he ran tests on the white substance through the lab's high-tech machine, but there was no match. That meant the drug had never been in the lab before. Since January, Rohde told me he kept the file on his desk and worked on cracking the case. That break came last week. Rohde discovered the substance was U47700. U47700 is a new opioid that is more potent than heroin and can be deadly. So far, it's blamed for the deaths of 20 people in nine states. I believe this may be the first Ohio fatality using U47700. It may surprise you to learn that this synthetic opioid is eight times more powerful than morphine. The synthetic drug is so new on the streets that it hasn't been labeled illegal. I think there's a misunderstanding and a belief that if the government hasn't scheduled it, hasn't made it illegal, that somehow it's safe. That is anything but the truth. Getting the drug is as easy as a few keystrokes. In most cases, it's ordered online and delivered from China. A trend law enforcement sources tell me they fear is just beginning. In Lake County, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.